Hello everyone, how are you doing? Marksman520 here with uh, another part of uh, our Serbia campaign here. Now I'll just zoom in here. Uh, I like to start zoomed out. Um, so as we left off, we have a bunch of rebels that we're trying to take care of, which is, uh, they're turning into be quite a problem, which is unfortunate. Um... Uh, we could use more soldiers, but I don't think we can afford more soldiers. No, we cannot afford more soldiers, but we'll increase our monies. Wish I could see if these guys are suffering attrition. They're just peasants and we're, and we're losing. I, I don't think the game takes into account the fact that they're peasants and we're an actual army, but, um... I, I don't think the game takes that into account. So, um, we could probably, uh, we can deal with, uh, waiting another month. Well, when are you guys going to be, going to be in Kosovo on the 15th of January, and we'll arrive here when? 28th, okay. So we'll just start taking this province back while we wait. Oh, they're coming back. We'll, we'll, we'll arrive there a day before. So we should get defensive bonuses. Um, why does our morale start so low? It's like half on here, then starts really low on, on uh, the actual battle. Um, we should be able to win um as long as our morale doesn't drop because we got a defensive bonus actually for this territory but we are running low on morale uh, even if we don't win they're gonna take some huge losses we barely lost any soldiers, actually. We're probably going to lose because of the morale. Which is unfortunate. But we did take a lot of them with us. We, well, actually, we didn't, we didn't really lose. We just lost because of morale for some odd reason. Um, even though it said we had like half on here, we had like no morale in the battle. So, that's unfortunate. Let's go down here. Um, yep, cool. So we'll just, we'll head down to Kosovo and just chill there for a little bit. Because if we attack them from Kosovo, we won't take, we'll take a terrain uh, debuff from the region, but we won't take a river crossing penalty. So we'll have a little less, a little less to deal with. Um, so we'll wait till next month, I think, and then launch an attack. We'll have a little more morale and a little more soldiers, which would be great. Um, we're probably not going to keep anybody here to continue sieging this territory, because I feel like we're probably going to need everybody. So we're going to start this now. Oh, they're running away. Why are you doing such a thing? Um, you'll arrive, when will you arrive? 14th of May. Ah. When will we arrive here? 12th, and you'll arrive on the 14th. We'll get a defensive bonus. Why do you keep going? Why do you, why do you keep going? What? Usually they, like, stop and change direction. Now I have a uh, terrain and river crossing bonus. Usually, usually the AI will like stop and you'll, you'll just be like doing a dance. It'll be like, oh, we're going to stop and then you stop and then uh, they start going and then you start going and then they stop and then you stop. and But they just kept going. Um, still like 
what's our issue with the morale? Why is it so low? Must be have something to do with like our prestige or something. Or legitimacy. Because our morale shouldn't be that low. Like we lost that battle because of morale issues, but we dominated them. We had like we had full morale going into that battle too. But they still they, they took some heavy losses, so Looks like Bulgaria's having rebel issues too. Serves them right. What do we got here? It's like royal marriage. Um, royal marriage from Mazovia. No, thank you. Uh, we'll wait till next month and then attack them. Doesn't look like they're regenerating any troops. We're gonna have more than double advantage, but for some reason we have like a morale debuff as well which is unfortunate because the last two battles we should have won but uh, we ran out of morale and lost because we didn't have the morale to continue fighting which is unfortunate but we should be just about full yes and we're gonna take a terrain debuff and river debuff um, but we do have them greatly outnumbered, so. And I can't foresee them. I don't really want them to take the territory. See, so we, like, we had full morale. We still have full morale up here. But we start, like, with very little. They're out of cavalry. They're out of cavalry, just... We're winning. They just got about 2,000 more soldiers, and we have, like, 13,000 combined. I think, I think, I think this is it. I think this, this army's done, and once we finish off this army, make sure it's completely done, we should have plenty of soldiers to take out the rest individually. So I think we got, I think we got the rebel problem under control, and once we take care of all the soldiers, then we just got to spread out our forces to, um, recapture the uh, provinces that they occupied it's a bit of a nuisance really but there wasn't much I could have done to stop it because for some odd reason we're just our morale was just I don't know we had like full morale up here but then when you come down here we have like a fifth of our morale bar but this was the only this was the only rebel army that we really had to worry about because the rest all had, you know, six, five, six thousand. What? Oh. Ragusa revolted. I didn't realize that happened. Oh, all, oh, oh, the rebels must have deflected. Uh oh. What? Come on, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Really? Aragon has declared war on us. I don't know. Oh shit, we got a bunch down here too? What? Oh my god. Oh, we gotta take care of Ragusa first. Improve relations with Montenegro. Yeah, we can't. Just stop. Uh, yeah, if you, if you didn't catch what, what just happened, we, uh, are getting declared war on again by a bunch of different countries, but none of them border us. Oh my God. Uh, really? Oh wait, no, that, that was Milan. All right. I thought it was Naples. 
Um, and now we have no allies because they all just like said screw you. It would be nice. It would be nice if, if they honored their alliances like men. Um, I don't know. A lot of these countries don't actually border us, so I don't know how much how um they're gonna get involved. Um, they could send soldiers via ocean, but I don't know how many they could send at a time. They probably couldn't send a huge amount. They probably won't be able to send like huge numbers of soldiers at, at one time. Alliance from Bohemia. Um, they probably they probably won't jump in here. Call to arms. Yeah. I love how people just offer me an alliance and then but they don't actually want to join the war. It's like, why would you do that? Um, Morocco. And Bohemia is not even our ally anymore. <laughs> they, uh, they refuse to join. Um, jeez. I don't know how many of these, these, these nations are actually going to go to war with us. I know Hungary will not go to war with us. They won't. Because we have a truce. So as far as that goes, they can't. Bulgaria can't. Montenegro can't. Byzantium can't. These nations can't. Well, let's see. Trinacria Trin 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 can. I believe, I believe, yeah, they haven't gone to war with us. But most, most of the nations around us that border us cannot actually go to war with us unless they take like huge penalties um but we do have a lot of nations declaring war on us i'm not too worried right now however um we got a huge unit coming from no um why can't i see so we do have some that's, uh, that's Aragon, isn't it? Or is that Castile? I get them confused. I get their flags confused. I'm looking at the flag. It's not telling me anything. Trinacria. We're not at war with, um, Trinacria, are we? Are we at war with these guys? Yes, we are. Ooh. Um, a lot of ships here. But I do not know how many soldiers are in there. That can't be 18,000 soldiers. Oh. It's going from bad to worse. Alright. We need to... Um, That must be like their entire army. How many is that? That's uh, that's only three thousand. Right, I thought it was a five, so I can't really see because of the smoke right here. I thought that was a five. That's actually a three plus one more. That's only four. Um, why they sent them by ship? I don't have any clue why they sent them by ship. Um, but they're not really a problem because they're so low in numbers. I think we might actually instant win if we attack them with what we got now. You instant win if you outnumber them by like 10 to 1 or something. I forget what the number is. Lost another battle. Cool. I don't know why our morale is so low. It's ridiculous. Like we should easily be winning those battles, but we're losing because of our morale. It somehow starts at like one-fifth of a full... I can't be down to the leader. Oh, jeez. Um, well, I'll just let them sit there if they want. They're, they're taking attrition. Lost our fleet that we didn't really have.
we'll just let them sit there and take attrition if they want. There's no way they're not taking attrition. They got 14,000 units in hostile territory. Holy Jesus. Uh, thing, things are things are going well. Things are going really well. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there for now. Thanks for watching. See ya.